much they expect your luck every single day. You might be the biggest reason for them to continue their life. So why are you still procrastinating? Let me show you some reason which may be yours through a story. Mom, I really care about your life, but you don't need to call me every day like this. You know I'm busy, right? Yeah, I'm okay, Mom, so don't worry. I mean, please, just call me once a week, okay? I know that you love me, but you don't need to say that all the time. It's so cheesy. After work now. Bye, Mom. That was the way I answered my mom's call. Every single time she called me. We live in a poor and small province in Lanza, and I decided to move to Saigon to build a better future of my own. And you know, I love my mom. That's why I try my best to be working so hard, seizing the opportunity to move a higher position in my business. I was always busy in meeting, advertisement, party. Therefore, I didn't have time to go home to visit her. But I also always promised her that I will ask for a long vacation time just to be with her. So hearing this promise from me, she was so excited. I now will do that. I can't forget that day. My mother was calling me, but I was ready for an exam important meeting, so I just picked up the phone and said, Mom, I can't talk to you now, I'll call you later tonight, okay? Without giving her even a second to talk to me. And then, I did my job so well in the meeting, so our team went out to celebrate until midnight. While I was asleep at 2 a.m., the phone rang. It was my mom. And I said, Why do you call me too late? Don't you sleep? And she said, Honey, I can't. I've been waiting for your call all night that you promised. It. And I said, I'm sorry, I forgot that. I'm tired now. Can we talk later? And she said, No, honey. I want to talk to you now. I miss you and I have seen you for five years. And I said, I'll call you tomorrow. I promise, now go back to sleep, please. Then I hung up and slept. A friend of mine in my hometown called me in the morning and said, Jerry, I don't know how to tell you this. I said, just tell me what happened. And suddenly, he started crying and going, I can't tell you. I said, just say it. I left everything and went home for a funeral. Slowly, I went up to her casket just to see her for the first time after five years long. She was so beautiful, but so small and white. Please wake up. Please get up, Mom. You know you is here with you. What if I know how bad I am? What if I spend more time with you instead of sending you a lot of money and what if I just took your home for five minutes just to hear your soft voice again? I'm so sorry. Please wake up, Mom. Everything I am, everything you hold to me because of you, you love me so much, you gave me a life. You are the only one that ever believes in me. I have to do her. I was so busy with my work and my personal life. I wouldn't even spend like five minutes for her. I spent all my time chasing brand promotions, fake relationships, but so what? All she had wanted to do was talk to me. But it's not possible anymore. I was your only daughter, but I didn't see you for a while. But, but, look, this is a very common problem 
Why does this happen again and again in our life? Why? What causes? Please tell me why. <laughs> I think because of money. Thank you. And how about you? <coughs> You have no idea? You're so handsome tonight, yeah? That's me. Another process. Now, let's talk the first one. The majority of people keep thinking their parents are always generous, understanding, patient, and forgiving. That makes them careless, too free and don't care much about the feeling of the parents. Anything else? Money. People today are trying to work hard to earn the thing they want the most. It's money. And they think money can solve any problem. They also think sending money to their parents is a good compensation. That's it. Technology. It's so hard to say technology is taking us far away from each other. But it's gonna be true. true, true. A lot of people spend most of their time using phone, uh, chatting, watching movies, surfing the internet. And they're saying that technology is for wrong people. They no longer hang out, meet up, and talking in real life. Last one, generation gap. One of the most important differences is each generation has different perspective on life. Young generation has, uh, has felt uh, annoyed by many phone calls, questions 